Hey guys, quick video today. Um, I figured I would cover this because I didn't see it anywhere else online. We're gonna make a mold for some lead soft jaws. This idea is not original. It came from uh, Trinidad State Junior College uh, where I went to gunsmithing school. Basically, this is the final product. You have a top and a bottom mold. The bottom mold looks about like this. It's got a ledge all the way there. And then the top mold has kind of a cap. So when you put them together, they make an L-shaped mold that's hollow. I'll go over some of the dimensions here in a second. I just stamped some quick reference marks on top there. Uh, so that's for a three inch vise, a four inch giant vise, and a five and a quarter. I'm not sure if that's standard. That's just one of my vices. Uh, you could make them as long as you want. I just decided that I wasn't gonna make soft jaws for anything bigger than six inches. And then basically you can set it under your lead pot, get it nice and hot, pour lead into it. And uh, when it cools, you pop it out. And I'll show you that in a moment here. I've already got it welded up. I'm not a great welder, not video worthy, that's for sure. I originally tried to weld this inside joint. My welds are garbage and that turned out poorly. So that'll show up in every casting that I do. After that, I just started tacking it in the corners. It's gonna be sealed enough for lead, that's for sure. Try and keep all your welds outside of the mold, I guess. Um, I didn't do that, but that's what I would recommend. I didn't have my exact dimensions, so I just welded this quarter onto here and then I ground off the end and then I welded this quarter onto here, and then I ground off the end, welded this quarter onto here, and ground off the end. So you don't have to have any of your exact dimensions, just cut them all a little bit long, tack them on. And then I went in and tacked on this piece, which is one inch 600 thousandths. And this is the only one that took a little bit to fit because it's got to fit and slide in here without being too sloppy. Um, and mine is a little bit sloppy there, but uh, Basically, I ground it flat on this side, and then I just started inching up on it with the belt grinder in here um, to make it fit. Um, problem is, I'm not used to my new belt grinder, and it's got a lot of power, so I uh, made a little bit of a gap there. But realistically, it's, it's not going to shoot out everywhere or anything. It's, uh, well, I hope not anyway. Um, and try and keep it nice and square. I did clean up the outside. There's no reason to. I rounded all the corners. And your final dimension of this is going to be the smaller face here minus a quarter inch. I found um, my original soft jaws that I'm basing this off of that I'm trying to replace. Uh, they're pretty had and uh, they can get um, steel or uh, other objects embedded in them. Uh, and when they do that, I always fold them in half like this so that they can't accidentally be used and scratch a barrel or something like that. If they get stuff embedded with them, I do recommend folding them in half and re-pouring them. I did bend this one out again so you can kind of see what it's gonna look like when it's done. Basically, it's gonna come out of the mold, something like that. So I'm gonna get a set of these poured and kind of show you what I'm rambling on about. That is how it's gonna be poured right there. Um, that's the top-down view. I'll pour into this slot and uh, I'm gonna pour a four inch jaw for my four inch Wilton over here. I'm gonna melt these down and pour them into new ones, give them new life. Uh, I'll get the lead pot warming up. All right, so this is my lead pot. Uh, it's just a Lee lead pot. Give it a second to uh, cool down. Won't wait too long though. Nope. What I've been getting is uh, Something that looks like that. It's almost, but it's a little bit on the cold side. So what you want to do is preheat your molds. At some point, we'll get a really nice uh, piece of lead out of here. You don't have to do this uh, if you don't want, but uh, there's going to be some junk on top of your lead pot. If you heat up a piece of metal in the lead pot to uh, at or above the melting temperature of the lead, then uh, you can just use it to skim off the uh, what is on top. Make it a little bit cleaner. It's just uh, oxidization and dirt junk that was on the last stuff that you melted down. Try 
and make sure to uh, get all the dirt out. Heat the bottom of the mold. I usually don't have issues with the sides heating up, I usually only have issues with the uh, bottom not filling all the way. See if that works. Took longer to fill. Maybe uh, that lead sank all the way to the bottom. Hey, hey, that's what we're looking for. So that right there is what you'll get. Let's keep this thing rolling while it's presumably about the right temperature. Yeah, pretty good. I think uh, a little bit of preheating would have done that one a little bit good. Got a pair of wet jaws here. I'm gonna take them over to the vise. I'm going to tighten up the vise to uh, about a half an inch. A gap there. I'm gonna line them up at the edge of the vise here. We're gonna kind of center it up. Looks like I made these a little big and then uh, tighten them down. Should be able to get a uh, soft mallet of some type, maybe a uh, dead blow. There we go. We have fresh and new lead jaws.